Hey, this is the Meerkat here with a trade of the day here from Grok Trade. This was in our Grok Day Trading chat room, and here it was setting up on BBY. And it was up 5% on its earnings this morning in pre market, and it's coming down here and it's falling, falling, falling into opening, and then it bounced up here and started to do a what's called a bear pullback want to know more about a bear pullback you can just go to our site free online trading education.com and that will take us to uh, the free chart school right there is it click on that and here are the different chart patterns and this is a bearish one called a bear pullback or a pullback sell click on that here's a picture of it where it was falling and it bounces up to a line of resistance and then if it starts to roll back down the odds are in our favor it's going to continue down and we want to get short here's some examples of it on these are actually daily charts here yeah, but it happens in all time frame folks including on my one minute day trading charts here and here it is now it's starting to fall back down again so when it does that we want to get short so let's take a look here at uh, what we're doing here it's hitting this right on this 8 EMA and it's starting to fall back down so I set it trade up here ready to go short let's see what happens and BAM there it goes it dropped down here and I got short here at $57.95. I am short here on BBY Best Buy. So let's going to use this as our stop here. We have our stop. We got to buy it back. So it's a buy stop order here. Just above this 58 to 25 area. Uh, that's a less than 1%, about a half a percent at risk. And even though the price action is way down here, let's take a look here what happened next. And look at this. Bam, 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 bam. Falling down, falling down, falling down. And now we're going to bring our stop in the money. See, look at this 8 EMA. It's not closing above it. So I'm going to just kind of follow that down as we go. It's doing that. It's just saying just above it. Here, just above this 57.25 now is where I'm going to put my stop. And boy, we got a lot in the money now. Let's move this up and let's see what happens after this. All right, now it fell on down here to below the $57 area. Now starting to base down here at uh, 56.25. It based down here for a while, and I went ahead and I took out half at 56.38 for 2.7% on the first half. Then I bring that stop down here, down here to the 56.60 uh, area, and uh, let's see what happened after that. Right above that 8 EMA, and boom, it popped up, stopped me out at. 56.64 on the second half for 2.3 percent. So let's take a look at this trade here. It uh, at, at opening it fell down. It started to do a bear pullback. As it rotated down, I went ahead and I got short, and then I just managed my stop all the way down here. When it stalled down here, I went ahead and took out half, and when it popped back above the 8 EMA, I got out for a total trade of 2.5 percent in 46 minutes. Hoo ah! And then the stock just continued to fall, and at the time of this recording here at 1 o'clock uh, Eastern Time, it's down 11.4% after being up 5% on earnings in pre-market. That's a big move today, folks, and yes, we did have some more trades on it. In fact, I want to talk about the tale of two different markets. Yesterday in our Grog day trading chat room, well, you know, we traded our trading system, you know, our rules for entering and our rules for exit. And uh, here's yesterday's results. Look at all these trades. The, the last trade of the day was for 1.2%. Everything else was 0.65% or less to either the positive or the negative. So we traded the snot out of the market yesterday, 10 trades in two hours. But guess what? We are 70% success rate. That's terrific. But we only made 1.5%. And with our model portfolio, uh, investing $10,000 per trade, that equals about 150 bucks. All right. It was green for the day, but, you know, today we traded the exact same trading system. And here's the results from today. Look at this. We had one, two, three, four trades over 2%, two trades of 1% or better, and then a couple of others. And today we only had a... 63% success rate. That's okay. Our target is 60. And net for the day today was 10.4%. That exceeds our stretch goal of 10%. Again, with our model portfolio, that equals to about $1,000 we made in two hours today. So again, we traded the exact same trading system. So what's the difference between yesterday and today? Yesterday was what we call a choppy market. As soon as it would break out or break down so the odds were in our favor, it would immediately turn around. 
over and over and over again. That's why we had these little tiny trades. Today, we had a lot of follow through. And you can see, when you have four 2% trades or better, you know that it's following through, following through. And we just, once we're in, we start to manage our stops. Like I just showed you in that first BBY trade, uh, you know, I, I took out half when it, when it would stall, as I did several other times today. So my point is that you have to consistently trade your trading system. Market conditions may give you more of a yield than other days, but the, the important part is that you trade your trading system, have the discipline to follow it to the T in good times and in drawdowns. This is Mark the Meerkat. Trade well and may your winners run.